students welcome to study good academy where we want to engage ourselves today in data one of the topics in data processing the topics we shall engage ourselves is the arts of information processing the arts of information processing which is under the information processing okay the art of information processing here yeah, before we move on by the time we finish this lesson i would like you to understand the following I should be able to define the art of information processing. Okay? I would like you to be able to define the art of information processing. Likewise, it will be good of you that you are able to explain the procedures for the processing of information that you should be able to explain the procedures by which information are processed okay now information is equal with the definition uh, in information processing is just the acquisition, recording, uh, organization, retriever, display, and also the dissemination, okay, that is spread of information. In recent years, the term has often been applied to computer based operations specifically okay so now looking at the screen now let's leave the explanation I've just made information processing refers to the manipulation of digitized information by computers okay I repeat Information processing can be defined as the manipulation of digitized information by computers and other digital electronic equipment known collectively as information technology, which is high T. Okay, so here, yeah, information processing systems include business software, operating softwares. Let me write it for you to understand. Information processing systems. Okay. Includes business software operating system computers network. And main frames. Okay. 
okay so a computer information processor processes this information we are talking about in order to produce understandable results okay so the processing may include the acquisition recording assembling retrieval or dissemination of information for instance in a printing or for instance in printing a text file an information processor would work to translate and format the digital information into a printed form okay now let's move to procedure for processing information procedure for information processing the following are procedure by which information can be processed one is collation of information two organization of information three analysis of information four interpretation of information let's take them one after the other one i said collation collation of information Collation is to gather information together, examine it carefully, comparing it with other information in order to find any differences. Okay, so it is the assembly of written information into a standard order. Collation differs from what can be called classification in that classification it is concerned with arranging information into a logical categories why collection is concerned with the uh, ordering of items of information usually based on the forms of their identifiers okay so the uh, main advantage of collation is that it makes it fast and easy for a user to find an element in the list or to uh, uh, to confirm that it is absent from the list okay so uh, the gathering of relevant and up-to-date information is just a key business process information consists of organized facts and figures which have many within the context that the information is intended to be interpreted by people that is why we said inform that is just what differentiates information from a data remember from the no our elementary uh, knowledge of computer when we will be talking about uh, data and information what differentiate data from information is just that uh, data is a raw fact why information is a processed one is a process fact a fact which has passed through some categorized uh, process okay now information can be gathered in two ways that is information
can be gathered in two ways. One, it can be gathered internally. Okay. And also, it can be gathered externally. Okay. Information can be gathered internally. It means within an organization. Example, a bad production of performance. Okay. Says performance. Standard operating procedures, and also when when, when we talk about a uh, uh, manufacturing systems of a company, so and so on that way. But when we want to talk, when we talk about how information has be, can be gathered externally, then we'll be talking about the outside. We're talking about outside the radius of the organization. For instance, information about customers and markets. Can you see? This is not within the organization, but outside. So the firm may contract out the collection of such information to an appropriate organization, just such as a market research company. Okay? Now, another procedure for information processing is what is called organization of information. I've talked about this collection of information, so let's move to organization of information. To organization, organization. of info okay information even with the uh, contextual meaning you know, it's just how information can organize I just it organization of information and eh? telling us that how information could be organized the previous one we just explained is the collection of information telling us that how information could be collected. That was when I was talking about the gathering, you know, gathering of information. Now, under this sense of uh, organization of information, the term used to refer to the standard protocols by which information is arranged. Other terms that are sometimes used are, are catalog and classification in the techna, uh, technical services. So data can be organized in various ways. Okay, data can be organized in various ways. The processes of organizing data should include non-electronic means such as uh, paper based forms as well as electronic forms ways of organizing information ways of organizing information one let me use it as Roman go one category. Some people call it category. Uh, category. Eh? I, usually, I usually refer to it as category. So organization through similarity. This is just an organization through similarities and <coughs> sorry. Uh, Relatedness category, we talk about categories, 
tags, taxonomies, and etc. So here we organize our context by categories when there are clusters of similarity in the information or when people will naturally seek information based on perceived similarities okay so that's why we talk about category when we want to organize the information based on uh, priority of category so another way in which information can be organized is time time based on time that is organization in a chronological sequence when we talk about chronological sequence we are talking about periodic sequence that is in terms of period okay time okay so which is time time so we organize content by time that is we organize information by time when presenting or comparing events over a specific duration of time okay or when time b sequence is important to the uh to the to the talking about information okay that is to, to the uh, to the information in question all right so that is that and the way in which information can be organized okay is location 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 okay so organization through geographical or let me say this is an organization through this organization of information through geographical or spatial uh, spatial references talking about or making reference to maps traveling guides etc so we organize content by location when orientation or way finding are important and also when the information in question relates to a geographical place all right so another ways by which information can be organized is what is called continuum continuum four how to go four continuum okay so this is an organization of information by magnitude okay by magnitude, when we talk about magnitude, or when we say magnitude, we are talking about the size, the size of the content, the size of the information. Okay, it could be baseball statistics, probably search results, or in terms of ratings. Okay, so we organize context by continent when comparing things across a common measures. Saying from highest to the lowest or lowest to the highest probably from best to the worst or reverse is the case okay or from last to the first or vice versa that's that so it deals with the organization of magnitude It deals with the organization information organization in terms of magnitude in terms of magnitude. 
okay or uh, size of the contact okay now another ways by which information can be organized is what is called alphabets alphabets okay this is organization in an alphabetical order or sequence that is being in dictionary form glossary form or index form we organize this content by alphabet when the information is referential when the non-linear access is required when no other means of, organi of organization is acceptable than in terms of alphabetical order okay this an alphabet alphabetic sequence or order of information <coughs> okay or content or content so this five roman figures i've just mentioned these five things i just mentioned that is the category the time the continent the alphabet and location are five ways by which information can be organized and that organization are that organization is one of the procedure by which information can be processed please don't mix this what i'm talking don't mix them up i was talking about the procedure of processing information i mentioned collection of information i mentioned organization of information so in organization of information i subdivided it into five by telling you that information can be organized into in four in five ways okay and those five ways are what i just mentioned recently by saying alphabet order alphabetic order in continent continuum in time according to the time according to location and in a categoric manner or categorical manner okay and then now let's go back to the procedure where you are coming from procedure of uh, information processing the third one is analysis of information analysis of information analysis okay analysis of information okay okay analysis of information this is a process of inspecting cleaning transforming and even modeling data with the goal with the aim of highlighting useful information suggesting conclusions and even supporting decisions making okay mm -hmm. so information can then be analyzed by using computers or by manual methods okay so the analyzed information will be accurate streamlined and not overwhelming right so databases and spreadsheets make it very easy to analyze information 
okay so that means I'm saying that we use database and spreadsheet to analyze such information okay so for instance information about the market in terms of market growth in terms of market share can be entered using a spreadsheet package okay so the information can then be presented in line graphs or in graphical manner is Instagram or pie chart or in a manner of pie chart etc so that it is easy to quickly make sense of the information information processing refers to the collection storage manipulation distribution remember and even presentation of data usually by electronic mix so computers are used widely in business for information processing now let me state some example some simple process by which information can be analyzed okay simple process by which information can be analyzed okay one is scheme and scan okay some will call this by scheming some will say true scheming and scanning okay so two the second process is determine accuracy relevance Okay, you determine accuracy, the accuracy. Okay, relevance and ability of the information. Okay. Thirdly, you differentiate Okay. Fourthly, you identify propaganda That is, let me call it identification Identification of propaganda okay of bias okay so what i mean here is that information can be analyzed through its identification of propaganda all right so the fifth way that information can be analyzed is through recognition of omission that is you recognized you recognize omission okay omissions and faulty logic why the sixth which is last but not the least is to recognize the interrelationships okay recognition 
recognition of inter relationship okay so that is that under the analysis of information under the analysis of information so the fourth procedure of processing information is what is called interpretation of information interpretation Okay, so here information interpretation is a process through which organizations make sense of new information that they have acquired and disseminated. Okay, that is that. Now let's move, let's proceed, let's consider, let's see what you can under the advantages of using computers for processing information advantages that is the merit okay Have the, uh, the merits for using computers for processing information or advantages of using computers for processing for information processing. Okay, one of the advantage is a task can be completed faster. Okay, task can be completed speedily. Okay. Because computers, computers work at uh, at amazing speed. Okay, another advantage of using computers for processing information is that computer can process large amounts of data without error. That is, it can process large amount of data in an error-free manner or with error-free results okay provided that the data is entered correctly in the line of gigu that is garbage in garbage out if you garbage in correctly you have a good result if you uh entered wrong information then sequentially you are going to have wrong output okay so i said to computers process or let me say can process large amount of of data and generate error free
error free results okay another another advantage okay is that computer can store enormous amounts of data for future purpose so it can store or save enormous amounts of data for future use okay another advantage of using computer for information process is the high reliability of components inside nowadays computers which enable computers to produce consistent results okay so let me say it as high reliability components reliability of component or it has reliable components okay five another advantage is its efficiency okay efficiency and productivity okay so through its efficiency and productivity it uh, it can be raised Another advantage is that is of its running cost. Its running cost becomes lower in the long terms. Okay, it has low running cost. Okay, computer has low running cost. All right, so that is that, and let's move to the let's meet list another. Let me list about more three, two to three uh, advantages for using computers to process information. Seventh, we use computers to process information because tasks can be completed with, uh, with little human intervention meaning that automatically computer can carry out the required activities okay so tasks can be completed Okay, just with little, with little woman intervention.
okay another advantage is that is because of overall security which can be raised due to the less human intervention okay it has overall security okay due to human due to human okay due to less human intervention Okay. Another advantage is that the management can observe new information and new trends more quickly. Okay. That is information and new trends okay can be more quickly observed okay by by management okay new information and new trends can be more quickly observed by management so another advantage is that customer services can be improved due to more efficiently management and operations okay so because it it can improve customer services Okay. True. Okay, it can improve customer services due to more efficiently management. Okay. Let me give you one uh, one advantage before I close that. Computers with communicating capability can share data and information with other computers. Okay. It can share data and info okay with other computers all right so now let's move forward to disadvantage.
of using computers for processing information okay one is that initial investment could be high okay its initial investment cost okay can be high extra cost is required to employ specialized staff to operate and design the data processing system okay it require extra cost okay in employing a specialized staff to operate and design the data processing system three jobs some jobs may be lost due to computerization okay and so lower the morale of staff members in a situation whereby you know whereby computer are now replacing human and see so it has sounded an alarm of disadvantage in that area okay sounded the alarm of uh, disadvantage of adaption of computer in that field for some staff has to be trained or retrained before the application on the process of applying the computer in that field also face-to-face -face interactions among staff might be reduced okay, since individual will be concentrating <laughs> with the use of his or a uh, uh, computer understand so it will reduce that friendly manner in between staff so this is all about the acts of information processing or what we have discussed so far I explained the information processing I talked about the procedure by which information could be processed which I mentioned the collection of information organization of information analysis of information interpretation of information okay so afterwards i talked about the advantages and disadvantages of using the computers for processing information thank you for being attentive thank you for the good audience you have given May God grant your academic effort. Thank you and have a wonderful day.